adjustments in setting up your um, strap cutter. First thing we'll talk about is how to set up your blades at different distances. So you can remove this here. This doesn't have to be ridiculously tight by any means, just firm. Uh, and then this comes off, this casting. Just be careful, it has a roller bearing in there. Um, and then, then you have a tool here that can go in these holes here and loosen this off. So yeah, this, this um, tool can just loosen that up like that if you need to. Um, and this is um, opposite thread, so it turns the other way. So to set up your blade spacings, you start off with ideally a couple of three mil spaces. You have um, 20, 10, 4, and 3 and 2 mil spaces. Uh, I've got these all set up at 20, 10, and 2, 32 mil. So we slide this on, slide on the blade, another spacer. So once you get all your spaces and blades in place, you want to make sure if you are coming clear of the shaft, you can, um, then you can go ahead and just big lock that on. And um, a little magic tool here. Yeah. Use it right, it's quite helpful. You just got to sometimes lift this end of the shaft a little bit to get in there, like such. Then we'll replace the end of the housing. Get on like that. Put this locking bolt on. Again, it doesn't have to be tight. Just and suck. And place your guard here at the front. Do use the guard, use the safety thingy. Take your Allen wrench and loosen these off. These little peelers are what stops the leather from wrapping around around the shaft. So then they have to be aligned on each individual blade. They have a groove, a groove in them, and they have to be aligned on each individual blade as per such. And then tighten them up. If you had more blades on here, we, you'd um, put them all on each blade. Obviously, if you were going to cut just maybe three strips, you'd have it'd be better to have all your blades at this end, especially if you had a large like side of leather. Um, you don't want it hanging off. The more table you got, the better to secure it on. On this side, we have a table and you have these guides. There's two of these. You can loosen these, place them where you need to place them. Um, underneath here, there's a, a, a um, two nuts with bolts on them that act as stoppers on your table. And as you lift this up, it lifts your roller up and pushes them against the blades. Uh, these 
a bit of a touchy feely thing. You don't have to have them ridiculously tight at all. Um, just enough to cut the leather, not enough to front your blade. So to adjust your tension on your your roller against your um, blades up here, you have these these locking screws here. Just have to loosen off the top one, and then set him. This one seems to be about three turns up. And once you get him there, you can uh, spanner. Let's tighten that down. Same as this one. Should just adjust up as per set like that. Should make sure you've got these even. Obviously that's not even at the moment. And you just move this lever up. Make sure it's just nice soft contact there with the blades. You don't want to be forcing it up to the top or anything like that. 